Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is our only standard and authority for truth. And together, God's people say with hearts of praise, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is February the 19th in the year of our Lord, 2018. And this is one a day for the soul. Now, I want to share a text with you this morning. I want us to look together at Psalm chapter 103. I want us to read this out of the King James Version and discuss it as we work our way through. So let's begin at Psalm chapter 103 and verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Let everything within us sing praises to the God whom we serve. Bless the Lord, O my soul, says the writer, and forget not all his benefits, all the great things that he performs on earth for his people and his creation. He who forgives all thine iniquities, who heals all thy diseases. He has forgiven us for every wrong we have done and praise him for it. He redeems our lives from destruction. How many times could we have faced death, yet he has saved us and kept us from evil? He has crowned us with loving kindness and tender mercies. Friend, are you experiencing the loving kindness of the Lord upon your life and his tender mercies moment by moment, breath by breath? He satisfies our mouth with good things. He gives us and bestows upon us the spiritual desires of our hearts those things that are according to his will. And he executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He fights for them. Just as he made known his way unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel, so too, friends, he shows his loving kindness, his mercy, his compassion unto us. And he does this in an especially special way that they did not know. He does this through the presence and the infilling of his spirit in our lives. He is merciful, understanding, compassionate, and gracious. He is slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. If his anger had have been exhibited on us for the sin we had committed, he would have rid this earth of us long ago. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. The wrath that he could have had for us, that each of us deserved for our sinful ways, was poured out upon his son. He allowed his son to be beaten for the wrongdoings that someone else had committed. He unleashed his fury and his wrath upon his son, who was perfectly innocent in all matters because of the sins of you and I. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. No, not unto us, unto his son, Jesus. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him, that believe in him, that trust him, that follow him, that obey him. Even as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Like as an earthly father, pities his children, so the Lord pities them that fear him. This word pity here means to have tender affection for, 
So like as a father has tender affection for his children, so the Almighty has tender affection for those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. He understands that we are worms of the earth, that we are frail, miserable, and weak without him. He knows that our days are few. They are like grass as a flower of the field. And yet in our time here, we flourish. And his mercy is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him. It is eternal. We will enjoy the mercy of the Lord forever. And this is a promise to all those who keep his covenant, to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom ruleth over all. We serve the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There is none higher and there is none more worthy of our praise and adoration. So bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, all his people, you ministers of his that do his pleasure. Are you ministering the word of the Lord unto the people whom you know? Well, that is your role in the kingdom, friend. That is your responsibility. Proclaim the truth of the Lord. Proclaim his righteousness and his holiness to all the people of the earth. Bless the Lord. Bless all his works in all places in all of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And as we were told in verse 1, let all that is within me bless his holy name and let every moment of the remainder of your day today be focused upon all his benefits, all his blessing, all his pleasure, and all his goodness that is unto us and around us. Oh, friend, I pray today that your journey will be blessed, that your focus will be upon the great things that God has done for you, is doing for you, and will continue to do for you as long as you live according to his principles, his statutes, his judgments, and his commandments. Now, may your day today be filled with the pleasures that only his people can know. May you hunger and thirst after his word. And may you offer to all who would listen the story of Jesus, of his love and forgiveness that he offers to all those who would surrender and obey his will. Now, as he wills and until next time, friends, I truly love you. I'm praying for you daily and I'll see you on the next video.